good morning everybody it's Marcia from be so creative and today is Wednesday so we have our Wednesday workshop so today I'm going to show you um, it, they're kind of funky but I absolutely love this fabric and the thing that I love about it is it's um, uh, the designer is, uh, and I'm going to butcher her name, so please forgive me if she actually sees this. Um, the designer is Jay Wicker Fresh, and um, she just, she does the most amazing designs that I just really love, and this Halloween collection is no exception. I think this is hysterical, so I'm going to show you one of the things that I've done with it. So first off, there are these little, well, I don't even know what I want to call these. They're just little images and everything is a sewing theme. So this little, this little gal, um, the name of the thing is Old Maid. And for those of you who are my age, probably remembers playing the card game Old Maid. So what, um, what Jay Wicker Fresh has done is she has created these really great um, sewing images around the theme of Old Maid. So um, this one, now look at her. I mean, she's, she's kind of freaky looking. Her name is Sunbonnet Sue and her theme is Needle in a Haystack. And then we have some of these others, which, you know, look at this one. This one's called Crazy Quilt Lady. It kind of makes me chuckle. And then we've got um, Scary Millinery Mary. There she is. But what I, I wanted to show you what I did with these because people look at these and go, well, what am I, what are you gonna do with these? Well, first off, I'm gonna show you the pattern that the designer actually came up with. And so what this is, is each one of these little people are actually inside these little houses, which I think, you know, what a clever way to um, utilize the fabric because, you know, sometimes we buy something and go, now what am I gonna do with it? So number one, I think this is probably the cutest quilt I've seen to use little bits of a panel. So that is, this is by the designer, but I'm gonna show you what we've done here at the store just for funsy. Now, Vina has been rocking these little um, mug rugs. Aren't they cute? So here's one. Here's another one. Web, look at how funny he is. Web spool cotton. And he is Psy Spinny Yarn, which I think is so fun. And then we have this lady. Look at her. <laughs> Miss Button Your Lip. I mean, come on. you got to admit that this is pretty funny. But this is what I have chosen to do with these. I don't know if you all have um, seen a lot on uh, Facebook and Instagram with people doing, um, they're called bowl, bowl fillers. And they're just little small pillows, pin cushions, whatever you want to call them, that actually just pop into a decorative bowl. So what I've done is, um, I don't have a decorative bowl here at the store, but I do have this cute basket. So this is what I have done. I have taken some of these little pillow people and I've made them into an actual pillow. And then I have taken just some fun, funky yarn and stitched it on the side of each pillow. So, all right, so this is, uh, now I gotta put my glasses on so I can read this. This is Junior Jump Through Hoops. So that's him, you got it. This is Miss Pigging Shears. So not pinking, but pigging shears. Careful cutting. Um, what is whispering in your ear? So she looks kind of scary. And take heed of what you hear. With what measure you met out, it shall be measured to you. So each one of these, as you can see, I have taken the yarn and just uh, stitched around the outside. So I think this is kind of a fun way. So I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do that. So let me put my little guys back in their little spot here. Oh, th this guy's Mr. Darning Egg. He's the joker in the crowd. I mean, you got to admit he's kind of funny. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I've done is I, I went to our local Hobby Lobby and um, 
I found just some of this weird chunky yarn. Now, see how it's kind of, uh, it's lumpy. And that is what I wanted. I wanted to have the lumpiness of the yarn so that I could stitch it down. So um, this is called fleece light. Okay. So then what I have done is, I've, I've started this so y'all didn't have to watch me, but I am just going along and right along the edge. So here's my edge. I'm going to come in and take a little stitch. And what I'm actually trying to do is I'm actually trying to stitch in each one of those little lumps so that when I pull it down, it's not mushing the lump, but it is putting the lump it's securing the lump. See how that did that? So here I've come up here. So I'm going to flip. Oop, sorry guys, I know this is hard to see. I've never stitched on camera before, so this is uh, this is a new thing to me. And we've got Marco behind the camera, so he's he's helping me here. All right, and I know we're probably like bouncing all over, but let's see if we can get that. So what I have done is I have taken a little stitch here. And I am shooting for this next little lump here in my yarn. So there we go. So see how that just pulled right down into that lump? And we're going, so see now I'm going to come up here to this lump. And he's right there on the edge. And so I'm going to take another little stitch. Oops, oh, got stuck on the point there. And the fun thing about this is, I think that this gives a really cute decorative look to the actual pillows. And let's face it, I think that the thing I like about this is it does set it apart from the ones that are kind of plain Jane, which they're cute plain Jane as well, but you know, if you want to add a little zip, this is the way to do it. Just stitching along, and it's super easy and super fun, and then you have a really cute little project, and it will attract attention. And if you do not want to do bowl fillers, because a lot of people go, well, what am I, what am I doing that for? Well, it's just decoration. But what you could do, and let me just, um, you could, actually take these and I'm going to lay them here on the table so you all can see so um, I, I just want you all to picture let me move this Marco I just want to picture a big wreath grapevine wreath with black a black bow and these guys laid out in a circle on the wreath and you'd have some really cute decorations for your front door uh, for Halloween, if you're a Halloween aficionado. But anyway, just super easy to do, fun way to work with this, and like I said, there's nothing wrong with the plain ones, but you've got to admit that the, uh, that the yarn around the outside edge just really gives it a really cute look. So anyway, um, that is my Tuesday tip for, uh, Tuesday tip, I'm sorry, my Wednesday workshop for you. And the thing that I do want to remind you of is this is, there are a lot of little cute pin cushions out there that would also be super cute done this way. And uh, so that's just my thought. I hope you all have an absolutely fabulous day. Um, and we look forward to seeing you soon. So uh, blessings to all of you. Thank you for joining us this morning, and uh, we will see you next time. So have a good one. Thanks, guys.